like it. Yeah, well, that <laughs> is true, too. That is so true. But you know what? For a lot of us, for all of us, right? I mean, it's the heating convenient. cost, which is our biggest expense. That's, that's a good point. I, mean, I actually really didn't even think about that aspect yeah. of it. Yeah, that's yeah. huge. I mean, that is, that's a big one. So yeah. certainly money. it's been low. Uh, you have to crank up the heat, though, again, later today mm -hmm. and as we go into the weekend. But, guys, another mild start. I know. I will it really it. is crazy. Yeah, a little rain this Saturday evening, but we still mm -hmm. managed to uh, get temps in the 50s. A little disappointed we didn't get to 60 yesterday. We did fall shy. We have another shot at getting to 60 today. Uh, we'll at least get up into the 50s, and that's going to happen this morning because colder air works in this afternoon. And then as we transition later this morning into the afternoon, we'll have a period of rain. So here's your 24 around 8 o'clock. The valley is probably still dry. We're going to see some showers moving into Berkshire County. And then a period of rain with some showers, perhaps a couple of downpours. Can't even rule out a rumble of thunder as the front moves through. This is around noontime now. Temps in the middle and upper 50s. We have that wind out of the south. Then the front goes through. It's going to dry us out. It's going to cool us off. And the temperatures will slide. The wind will pick up out of the northwest and be gusty between 30 and 40 miles per hour. By 5 o'clock, we'll dry. Might even see a little bit of sunshine. Temps near 40, not bad, but we're going down and the wind is picking up. So the wind chills will be colder. You can see across Berkshire County, temperatures actually be in the 30s at that point. And then everybody's down in the 20s and 30s for your Friday evening plans. So it's going to be colder tonight. And by tomorrow morning, we're down into the teens and lower 20s. So obviously much more typical for a February start to your day tomorrow. We should see a lot of sunshine, though. It'll be brisk. It'll be chilly with highs up near 40 tomorrow afternoon. Right now we're sitting at 45. The wind is light, but if you're with us a little while ago, the wind was out of the north. Now it's out of the south, and it's about to pick up. It's going to carry temperatures into the middle and upper 50s out ahead of our front. So by 7, 8 o'clock, probably middle uh, mid 40s, maybe to 45 to about 50. Spot shower. Most of us are dry at this point. As the kids are heading home, 2 or 3 o'clock, I think the rain is winding down. It's while they're in school, it'll be raining out uh, the heaviest here. So run to le uh, recess or lunch. They normally go outside. They'll probably have to have it inside today. But by 2 or 3 o'clock, temps near 50, but going down as we go into the afternoon. So rain, wind, and falling temperatures today. Then we'll see bright, brisk, chilly temperature uh, conditions tomorrow. And then milder, and we'll bounce back by Sunday afternoon. It looks like we're going to stay dry all weekend long as well. So 40s and 50s now across southern New England. The breeze is just starting to pick up out of the south, out ahead of the cold front that is approaching. It'll squeeze up the mild air out ahead of it. And there's the rain, by the way, that moves through later on. It'll clear out by about early afternoon. I think we're done by mid-afternoon in drier conditions with some sunshine in the afternoon. But the falling temperatures will lead to well, just chilly conditions, and certainly by tomorrow it'll feel every bit like February. But we do bounce back tomorrow afternoon with highs in the 30s to near 40, and then we're in the middle and upper 40s as we go into Sunday afternoon. So mostly sunny tomorrow, still a bit of a breeze, so the wind chills will probably be in the 30s, 20s in the hills. And then Sunday, partly sunny, a little more clouds late in the day. It'll be a chilly start, cold start, but we bounce back a bit in the afternoon. Your next weather maker, we might have a couple of weak systems moving through Monday, Tuesday with a shower or two. But this one coming in Wednesday night and Thursday might have a little more moisture with it, and that might end up being a bit of a mix, something to watch for the late Wednesday, Thursday time frame of next week as we trend colder by the end of the week as well. All right, we'll have more weather coming up in just a few minutes from now. We'll see you then. Amanda and David, back to you. Tim, thank